Hey everyone, it's Lynn at Topsy Farms. We are just waiting for people to join. So we'll just hang out here with the sheep to be shorn for a minute while people come and join us live. And then we're gonna get a tour from Mike, the youngest member of the Topsy team. If you have questions for Mike, feel free to uh, type them. So we'll just wait here for another minute and then we'll start the tour. This is kind of extra special because uh, the public doesn't usually get to go through what yeah. we're going to show them. Yeah. It's uh, never done this part before. Yeah. So it'll be, it'll be new, but nice. <laughs> All right. Uh -oh. I am standing here with Mikey. Hello. Michael Murray. I am Michael Murray for Topsy Farms, and I am going to take you on a tour of the farm during shearing. So we start here uh, in the first part of the barnyard with all of the sheep that are being or waiting to be shorn. Just give you another view of that for a minute. Uh, can everyone hear me? Let us know if you can hear Mike. Give us some hearts or something. We got confirmation you can hear us. So here we are. Okay, so here we are uh, in the first part of the barnyard. Uh, earlier this morning, we took all of the sheep from the pasture and brought them down the road into here. Uh, and this group will either be done later today or tomorrow. I'm not quite sure on that, but I will find out. Can you show them the dog? Yeah. And over here, we have two of our lovely guard dogs. We have Summer lying in the corner and Ghost right here. And off we go. So once the sheep leave the barnyard, they will come through here, all the way through here, where the guard pups. Oh, there's the puppies. Who are these guys? Uh, the one coming to you is Polaris, and this one back here is Crux. Hello, uh, they're the two newest uh, members of Topsy. Sheep go, go all the way over here. So this platform here uh, is where the big bags of wool, s wool sit. So they're just changing it now. So if we look up there, uh, they've already moved it. But the big wool bag will sit on that and we will fill it with fleeces and pack it in and then we will lift it up and store it up on top in the upper part of the barn. Let's go show them. Yeah. <laughs> We're uh, fairly new to this whole Facebook thing. Well, not Facebook, but live streaming. So, tell them about where we're going now. 
Uh, we are going to the upstairs part of the barn uh, where all of the shearing operations happen except sheep, like the moving of the sheep. We come in here. We have all of the big wool bags getting stored right over here. Right. We have we Jacob have, uh, Murray. The board broke, so we're doing an emergency repair. Emergency repair. <laughs> Yeah. So over here, all of these wool bags weigh about 200 pounds, and it's 100% wool. Uh, each fleece will get put in and packed so that it's tight, uh, and so we can ship the most amount of wool with the least amount of effort. Uh, right now, this is our fifth wool bag today. Uh, we're just getting started. And if we come over here, we have the wool picking table. Here they take the freshly shorn fleeces and they pick out all the bad stuff like hay, poo, thistles, whatever. Take out everything that needs to be taken out uh, and all of that stuff gets dropped on the ground and gets put in the belly bag. The belly bag has all of the bad wool. Sure. On so all of the belly wool will get put in here and put somewhere different. Um, so it's all of the wool with like poop and stuff in it that's all dirty that uh, we don't want in our blankets. Would you step, Lynn? Uh, if we come over here, we can get an up close view of Donnie shearing a sheep. Donnie is one of the best, sorry, one of the world's best at shearing. Uh, and we've, we've, uh, here goes the throw. Uh, and every year, yeah. And every year uh, we hire Donnie because A, he's nice. And B, he is an amazing shearer. He's world class. And he's always willing to come, so. We have a bird's eye view up here to see shearing and Kaylee and the pens with sheep in it. Anything else? Give us a good one, Leo! <laughs> so what are they doing here? Uh, they are picking, uh, so we take the freshly, freshly shorn fleece from either Donnie or Jacob and we throw it onto the picking table and that's where they just pick out all the bad stuff in the wool uh, and then Right now we don't have a wool bag set up, but when we do, uh, we drop the fleeces in the wool bag uh, just so that um, we drop it in. So as I said earlier, we can pack it and get it as tight as possible and ship as much as possible. Part is the throw. Are there any questions? Um, there's a question, do the sheep need to be sheared just once a year? Uh, yes they do. Um, it's like an annual haircut. Uh, we leave it on in the winter so that they don't get cold and we take it off in the summer so A, they don't overheat and B, so that, because if they're laying next to their lambs and they have all the wool and they roll over, they could crush their lambs or hurt their lambs. So we take it off so that uh, it's A, more comfortable for them and B, more like easier for the lambs to have a better survival.
I'm just going to scroll through. Uh, ask if anyone has any other questions. Uh, anyone have any other questions? How do you tell the dogs apart? Uh, we use collars and their size. Uh, like, for example, Polaris, or uh, yeah, Polaris has a green collar and Crux has no collar. Okay. Uh, Ghost is bigger and burlier, uh, and uh, like our Alpha, so he's the biggest. Uh, Summer just like has a very long, like narrow snout, so like. And she's often just laying in the corner until she needs to do something. Uh, and then Boudica uh, wears a orange collar. Freya has a blue collar. And Marcus is just Marcus. Marcus is Marcus. Uh, Marie Walker asks, how many sheep? Uh, so we shear all of our sheep every year. And we shear about 500 in two days. Uh, so we have... All of the sheep, either uh, in the barnyard, in the barn, or downstairs in the barn, um, we do 500 sheep. Yeah. And uh, Faye McDonald asks, how much would one fleece weigh? Uh, our average is about 9 to 10 pounds, uh, but the goal... Um, about nine to ten pounds. So. Uh, let's see. Anything else? Uh, has the lambing started yet? How many lambs are there now? Uh, so lambing, lambing hasn't started yet. So far, we have two lambs. On um, they're just out in the second part of the barnyard. Because of an accident. Yeah, because of a accident. <laughs> Happy accident, that is. Yeah. Um, and lambing will start in about May. Cool. Okay, Wendy Forbes asks, how many years does a sheep produce fleece for you on average? Well, it really, de so the first year, like when they're lambs, they don't produce any. So uh, they usually produce, we usually keep them at about six or seven years. So about six or seven years worth. So each sheep will probably, in their like lifetime of being here, probably produce about 70 pounds of wool each. Right. Um, somebody asked, Mike Kelly asked, what if it rains? Uh, it rains every year. <laughs> like, I'm surprised there hasn't been uh, a rainfall so far today. Uh, but when it starts to rain, we just make sure all the sheep are covered so that like the razors don't stick. Um, but yes, it, it rains almost every year. Sorry, I'm just trying to focus so I can see any more questions. Oh, Donnie, your wife says hi. Uh, how do the sheep get to the upper barn? We'll show you that this yeah. afternoon. Yeah. So tune in at, I think it's 2.30. Tell them that. I don't know. Uh, tune in at about 2.30. We will uh, show you how the sheep get up. How many shears? Okay, how many shears and how many would one shear do in one day? Just repeat. Uh, uh, so we usually have two or three shearers. And in one day, counting, uh, not counting breaks, uh, Donnie, I think, can do about 100 in one day. Crazy. Oh, and, and Donnie's wife said it depends on the condition of the sheep. Yes, good, good point. Are they cold after? Uh, it depends on uh, how, like, the weather. Um, I mean, it'll be different for them because they won't be used to not having a fleece, but yes and no, depends on the weather. Uh, can you shoot them outside? Sure. Okay. Uh, so we're just going to head outside now.
Yeah. Uh, uh, so what are we looking at? Uh, Where are the sewing shoes? Oh, there they are. Okay, there we are. We did that many already? Yeah. That's crazy. Okay, so tell them someone's come late and they want to see shearing. So let's go. Okay. Because if you want, we can uh, go down to um, uh, down and get one more close-up of Donnie. Oh, yeah. If you want. Can we walk around another angle, maybe over there? Yeah, sure. So we're just gonna go find a different angle. So hopefully, you can, so hopefully you can uh, see part of hearing you haven't yet. Go next. Uh, they, after getting uh, packed in the bags and stacked, uh, they go on a truck to uh, PEI and McCausland's in PEI, uh, and they do like uh, they make the like they clean it again, they do everything we need, and they make the blankets and then they send it back. Uh, so we're gonna go downstairs for one more uh, close-up of cheering uh, and then we will end the live stream. This is what uh, it looks like when they're all packed up together. Where do you get the wool dyed and spun? Uh, also at McCausland's. Uh, they, they're PEI. Uh, they are, they're, they do everything for us. Parboiled. It is incredible how quickly. Yeah, they, they are. They get sheared about uh, probably six or seven times, depending on how long we keep them. Once a year? Yeah, it, once annually, um, depends on how long we keep them. What breed? What breed are the sheep? Uh, we have Border Cheviot and Suffolk, and I'm pretty sure there's one other. Kyle, what breeds are our sheep? Suffolk, Rito Arcot. Suffolk. Suffolk, Rito Arcot, and Border Cheviot. It is a special talent. It takes it takes years of practice. We will definitely post on YouTube. Please subscribe. Yeah. Subscribe. All right, we're gonna close this one off and do go to Instagram Live.
Okay, thank you for watching. Um, we're going to close this video and go to Instagram. Thank you for watching. Hi, everybody. Thank you. No idea how to turn it off.